Jesus. That look like the ice cold stuff or something. Do not fall on the rack of hairs. How the hell did a kangaroo get in dinosaur world? <laughs> okay, Ken, you gotta do the uh, tableau. <laughs> an arm. There's a war vet. Uh, which war, I don't know. It's like the Cro-Magnons versus the Neanderthals or something. Folks, this may even be more impressive than Christ of the Ozarks. And it was built by the same guy. Isn't that right? Yeah. Guy who built Christ of the Ozarks built all these dinosaurs. And, I don't know, Kong's not really a dinosaur, but who cares? What do you think, man? Think you could take this bastard on? My God. But two million years ago, the boy, he's not in very good shape now. Say, say, to tiger. And here's oh, this is a pretty intense little tableau here. It's like uh, primitive, primitive study of both sexism and racism. I think. Now this guy's a uh, patriarchal oppressor and uh, possibly, possibly a plantation owner. The oppressed female looks slightly indignant. Run! Don't walk. Run! Look at that thing. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Like someone just playing with mud. <laughs> Look, you got fish nets underneath. See? Him? 
where it's fishnets. Okay, when it looks so hot in the fishnets. Yeah, that's why they're, that's, that's why. That's like where fishnets came from. It's like, you know, they, they use like wild hemp to make fishing nets and, you know, somehow like it became a, a turn on, you know, to wear it and shit. Yeah. That's gonna sit on the roof. Here's is a rather innocuous specimen. Probably the prehistoric cave deer or something like that. There's another prehistoric cave deer. More and more of them, you know, just kind of immortalized in, uh, in clay or whatever, or fiberglass. Dinosaurs with antlers, we need more of them. <laughs> And it's Willie, the psychedelic Demetrodon. <laughs> Dino hippies. Dinosaur, Dinosaur Boulevard. You can see all the sores as you walk down Dinosaur Boulevard. Some that you hardly even heard of. Yeah, it's, that's a table saurus. <laughs> That's one of the dinosaurs that will be featured in uh, Jurassic Park 3, I think. Uh, this must be like, you know, Ice Age type stuff. Unitheriums and brontotops. It's, it's like uh, all the kind of fucked up mammals. Tyrannosaurus. And he's eating a fish. I think that's some kind of a Darwinian comment. It's, uh, I don't know, all those folks who do those things with, uh, they were like little fish things that you put on your car that say Jesus and then someone, you know, was a wise ass and he, you know, put a fish with feet and he said Darwin and then all these people have, you know, like fish, big, big Jesus fish eating little Darwin fish and, uh, you know, saying things like, you know, truth or like Jesus eating Darwin or truth eating Darwin, uh, for my money, it'd be like, you know, ignorance eating knowledge or whatever, but, you know, uh, you know, legends eating science, but you know, I think I think the Tyrannosaurus is just kind of trying to settle this once and for all, trying to settle the whole damn argument. Horrible paint job. Okay, we have another dino coming up here, and I think it's a Styracosaurus. Yeah. Yeah. What really killed the dinosaurs? A Styracosaurus. This whole scene here is pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, this is a part of our lives, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, there's an Ankylosaurus, and uh, you know they they really didn't exist. They were just kind of invented at some point. They were kind of a tribute to the uh, Anguillus character in the uh, Toho monster movies. <laughs> and. I thought it was a predecessor to Yeah, nature's little speed bumps. And 
here's a little bridge going out to this little pavilion in the middle of the water. That's a dinosaur too. That's a that's a pavilionosaurus. All right, here we get a couple more goodies. This is one of those little ones where they called gallimimuses or something like that. You know, Donimuses. Yeah, it's <laughs> prehistoric predecessor to Donimus. <laughs> and over here is some kind of. There's a protoceratops, the I think they're called. The blondes, blondes the top. Yeah, it's a... It, that looks like a, oh, we have a, look at, we have purple, a butterfly in here. Purple dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> there's a be butterfly saurus, and it actually moves. And uh, here's some kind of weird-ass little thing. It's like, I don't know, a baby triceratops, like, it's turning strange colors, but I think the uh, I think the protoceratops down here is you know, part of like the gay pride section. It's, you know, got that looks kind of like the dinosaur equivalent's Tinky Winky. <laughs> Finally, the great triceratops, kind of a pathetic kind of. I don't want to be here looking triceratops. Uh, my favorite dinosaur when I was a kid. And here's a Deodicarus. A Deodicarus is just kind of like maybe a predecessor to the aforementioned Angulus. A lot of these guys just kind of look like have sort of a lame look to them. It's stegosaurs. Hello there. Hello there. Yeah! Uh, Brontosaurus looming in the trees, and the baby Brontosaurus just kind of hanging in the back there. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, ladies and gentlemen? Now, we'll, <laughs> we'll go by. bother that later. <laughs> looking a little fiberglass soul. Uh, not a lot to say. Just cracking out of his head. Looking like he'd rather be anywhere else. Mommy, you put me back. That's a uh, that's a prehistoric Dalmatian, I think. <laughs> hey, it looks looks about as surly as most Dalmatians have been. Uh, this is one from the uh, Triassic period, known as the Atrocity Saurus. That's not a color scheme, folks. That's a conspiracy. <laughs> Someone's getting really creative with this stuff. Taking liberties with chemicals, I think. He has something a little low IQ. I uh, just I don't know. It must be those beady eyes, but not not the most imposing critter. Uh, oh, this one. You gotta get a good look at this one. This one looks kind of like kind of like Beavis on the old Beavis and Butthead cartoons. Yeah. 
And then we're going to score. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks, I'm never going to score! <laughs> what the hell? A razor is back of sore. <laughs> yeah, uh, more, more people taking liberties, I think. Do you want it? Back up? Uh, no, we can just keep going actually. As inane as we can as inane as we can venture to get up. There's a dodo bird way over there. We never went down this road before, did we? Oh yeah, we did. Dodo bird. Oh, this one's got something in its mouth. or something like that, but he's eating some small fiberglass reptile. Ceratops away up there. There are a lot of replicas going, a lot of a lot of doubles. Now here's here's another mammoth or a mastodon or whatever, but it's much bigger than the last one. Yeah. And they seem to be doing that kind of thing a lot here. There's both, there's both mammoth and mastodon on the map. I think that's a mastodon. Oh, okay, they're they're different things. I just didn't even realize them. And you see, here's here's a little Stegosaurus of some kind. Monoclonius. Monoclonius. Poly Mononucleus. Polycanthus. Polycanthus. And there's another thing. Please take a shit. Yeah. What kind of state? Such an expression. They're just like variations. Someone's getting real creative with this stuff. Here's here's another one with a dreadful color scheme. But you know, since yeah, yeah. another one of those little dinosaurs that runs real fast. And there's little tiny brown dinosaur out if you can see it facing him off facing off against him. There he is. Little brown dinosaur there that you can barely see. It's maybe on a, like a a turdosaurus or something. But this one, here's a winner folks. My god. Sorry, look like the chicken wings. <laughs> Titanosaurus, it's like the diver down sores or something. But uh, very strange. It has shoes on. And he has shoes. It's just very surreal. There's something like in the trees over there. And it's like another one of those, I think. Can't really camel. It's a huge deer or something. Yeah. Isn't it a camel? It's a bogosaurus. Uh, yeah. So I walk into the casino. And by the time I get in there, the clientele all look like dead Freemasons in baby bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was the club where I finally got lucky, and I ended up, um, to some extent, knocking the casino on his ass and winning a bunch of money, which was all, which was very very helpful. And then, but I, the real prize was uh, I got laid by the blackjack dealer, really. And uh, 
I had to wait for him to get off work, which is a drag, because I'm back in this crap motel, where one of my son's waiting. But, uh, and I didn't know if he'd show up or not. I gave him my number and sweet talked him and did all the things that you do when you're trying to pick up black gym dealers. And, uh, you know, I didn't think he'd give me the time of day, but he showed up after his shift and um, we screwed like me. And uh, it was fun. And, um, man, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's, I heard it somewhere. Um, but, uh, Screw like Mings. I like to say we fuck like Dobermans, but uh, but anyway, um, yeah. I don't know if it's like something with the trade or if it was just this one guy, but man, I don't know. I um, I just say it as a blanket statement just because this one character was so good that uh, black ja Vegas blackjack dealers give good head. And, uh, no joke, man, it was like, uh, an exemplary blowjob, yeah, and, uh, not as good as the one I got from a bull dyke when I was 17, but it's hard to beat that, and, uh, how was I 12? <laughs> with a painting of like an Indian riding a horse and that's uh, like a woodpecker saurus or something <laughs> uh, there's an indignous Forgot a backup asaurus. That's witty. It's uh, I don't know, maybe a bit.
dinosaur is that, do you figure? <laughs> that's like a, that's like a, an Amazurus Rex, maybe.